Henry Charrier was born in the Ardèche department. He had two older sisters. His mother died when he was 11 years old. In 1923, at the age of 17, Charrier joined the French Navy, where he served for two years. After his service, he lived in Paris, where he made a living from petty crime thanks to his context with the local underworld. He got married and had a daughter. On February 26, 1931, 24-year-old Henry was arrested and found guilty in court of the murder of pimp Roland Le Petit. Charrier strongly denied all charges. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and 10 years of hard labor. After a short stay in Cannes and St. Laurent de Meron, he was transferred to a colony on Davos Island. Charrier made his first escape attempt on November 28, 1933, together with his fellow prisoners André Mafur and Jean Closer, who accompanied him almost all the time. They spent three weeks in Trinidad, where the laws on the British dominions were in effect, which did not allow fugitive exiles to stay on the island, so they were allowed to sail on. They were shipwrecked off the coast of Curaçao. The island authorities allowed the fugitives to purchase a new ship, on which they were later captured near Riocha, in the northern Caribbean region of Colombia, and then imprisoned again. Later, Chavier managed to escape one rainy night and fled to the La Juajara Peninsula, where she was adopted by an Indian tribe. He had two wives and a child. Chavier spent 11 years in Guyana, two of them in solitary confinement on Devil's Island. During this time he made nine escape attempts, but only one of them was successful. Henry made his last escape in 1941 with the help of two bags filled with coconuts. He managed to escape from Devil's Island. After months of wandering, he arrived in Venezuela, where he was imprisoned again for a year. He was finally released in 1945. After his release, Charrier lived in Venezuela. There, he married a local woman named Rita, and they had children. Henry owned two restaurants in Caracas and Maracaibo. After the novel was published, he became famous and was often invited to appear on local television. Then he returned to France. In 1969, he visited Paris to present his novel Papillon, which became very popular. About 1.5 million copies were sold in France. Henri Charrier died of fruit cancer on July 29, 1973 in Madrid, Spain. Four months later, his novel was adapted into a movie directed by Frank Schaffner. Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman played the main roles in the movie Papillon. I used some photos from this movie. In 2017, a remake of the same name was released by Danish director Michael Neuer, starring Charlie Hunan and Remy Malek.